Hi, welcome. This is Ashley, market manager from the Saturday Farmer's Market. This is Chef Pete from the Chef Feature Company, and you are watching the first Chef Features, the Forsyth Farmer's Market cooking demo. Today, we're gonna make some Savannah red rice. Pete Smith with uh, Chef Feature Company, and I'm gonna be presenting you my version of Savannah Red Rice. Um, some people call it Charleston Red Rice. We're gonna call it Savannah Red Rice because indeed we're here in Savannah. All right, here's my mise en place. So we're gonna start today with some nice, beautiful local rice, the aromatic rice from Carolina Plantation. And then we have some salted peppered bacon from Hunter's Cattle. And then we have some beautiful smoked sausage from 920. Then we have some fire roasted tomatoes, some tomato paste, some sweet Vidalia onions, along with some sl sliced garlic. Then we have some bell peppers and celery. And then we have about two cups of chicken stock and about four ounces of V8 juice. All right, first I have a little olive oil that I'm gonna start off with. Make sure you preheat your pot first. Just drop about a tablespoon in there. As you can see that smokiness. Mine was definitely preheated. And then I'm just gonna go in with my bacon first. And then my sausage. So now as we got our bacon and our sausage there, you want to caramelize it a little bit, um, get it all nice and crispy. As you can see right there, it's getting all nice and crispy. A little bit of olive oil, and now the fat is starting to come out with the bacon and sausage. Um, remember, you don't have to season this dish here. There's enough salty salt, and there's enough, enough salt and pepper in the uh, bacon, so you don't have to season this dish at all. This is one of the few dishes I cook where you don't have to season. So once I get the bacon and sausage going, then I wanna start adding my vegetables. So I got my onions and garlic. Stir that around a little bit. Then I wanna add my bell pepper and my celery. That's what we call the holy trinity. So I'm gonna sweat all that together. As you can see those beautiful colors in there, everything's coming together nicely. So with this dish, you wanna build flavors. You know, you wanna build flavors first. So now I have that coming together. Now I want to add my tomato paste. Then I want to add my, my tomatoes. These are fire roasted tomatoes. I like the smokiness and the flavor with those. That's why I'm using those. Um, some people like to just do fresh tomatoes. It's all your choice. So as you can see, it's coming together nicely. And you also can see that it's nice and red, right? And Savannah red rice. So this is a little trick that I learned um, being in the profession for quite some time where I would like to take a little bit of V8. Let that V8 come up to a simmer. All right, now that V8 and everything in there is coming up to a simmer. The food is getting nice and nice and happy now. So why that V8 is coming up to a simmer now, I'm just gonna add my vegetable stock. 
And then I'm gonna add my rice. So as you can see, how nice and beautiful those colors are. Nice and red. So we're just gonna put a lid on it. If you're at home, you wanna put that on like medium high um, as it comes to a simmer. Cook it for about 30 minutes. All right, so here you are, Savannah red rice. Nice presentation. If I was in a restaurant, that's how I would serve it to you. Actually, if you was at my house, that's how I would serve it to you. Nice, beautiful red rice. Uh, still have the sausage in there and the bacon in there. And then we garnish it with a little basil leaf. So thanks everybody for watching. Uh, Chef Pete just showed us an easy one pot dish that's about 45 minutes all together with prep and cook time. So it's an easy weekday meal. It's also super yummy, super local. There's a lot of other ingredients you could get at the market too, depending on the season, like onions, garlic, bell peppers, celery. Um, if you wanted to use fresh tomatoes when they're in season, you could do that too. Uh, you could always get some extra seasoning if you like it extra spicy. Um, so we're gonna bring these to you once a month with Chef Pete and hopefully not always me. Uh, making a video um, to show off all of the great vendors we have at the market. They're there every Saturday at Forsyth Park from 9 to 1. And we also just want to say thank you um, to all of our loyal, loyal shoppers who have come over the last year. 2020 was a doozy for those in the food industry and we actually had our busiest year ever last year at the market. Um, so I know the vendors really appreciate all of you for coming out. And we hope these videos show you some other vendors you may not have tried before, some other ideas for things to do at the market, um, and just help you enjoy the market even more than we already do. Um, so leave us a comment, leave us a question. You want to see Chef Pete cook something, put it in the comments, and we'll trick him into making it for us. So uh, we're going to go eat dinner now, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.